while shows like House of the Dragon and Yellowstone pulled in record number of viewers last year. Plenty of shows flew under the radar. Before we get too far into 2023, let's catch up with some of the most underrated shows of the last year that you'll wish you knew earlier. So without further ado, let's get watching. Let the games begin. Number 10, The Responder. With 7.4 on IMDb and 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, it kind of takes the normal police procedural and things from a normal police drama that you have seen countless times and kind of throws it on the floor and stamps in it. A crisis-stricken, morally compromised first responder tackles a series of night shifts on the beat in Liverpool while trying to keep his head above water personally and professionally. What makes the series so good is Freeman's signature quirky performance as a man racing to stay alive. Number 9, Tulsa King. With 8.3 on IMDb and 78% on Rotten Tomatoes, Sylvester Stallone deserved a role in a well-made series. For once, one of the greatest action stars of all time doesn't get to fight every single minute. Instead, Tulsa King focuses on creating a rich story full of strong characters. Following his release from prison, Mafia Capo Dwight the General Manfredi is exiled to Tulsa, Oklahoma where he builds a new criminal empire with a group of unlikely characters. A comedy that is implausible corny, and yet quite enjoyable as Sylvester Stallone still commands a screen with his swaggering charm. Number 8, The After Party. With 7.2 on IMDb and 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, The After Party is a witty satirical experiment so entertaining I'd be in favor of second season with a whole new reunion murder. When a high school reunion's after party ends in a death, everyone is a suspect. A detective grills the former classmates one by one, and covering potential motives as each tells their version of the story culminating in the shocking truth. There's another catch each episode is told in a different genre full of funny inside jokes and perhaps a compelling mystery. Number 7, The Old Man. With 7.6 on IMDb and 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, The Old Man has shades of the fugitive, Rambo, and last year's Bob Odenkirk film, Nobody. A retired CIA agent is hunted by both the agency he once worked for, and his own nightmares when an unknown man suddenly visits him after nearly three decades. Slow at times but it has suspense complexity and great action sequences, not to mention tremendously gifted canine actors and the icing on the cake is John Lithgow as Chase's old buddy turned nemesis Harold Harper. Number 6. Slow Horses With 7.9 on IMDb and 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, Slow Horses refreshes the espionage genre with Gary Oldman giving a masterclass in frumpy authority. Slow Horse follows a team of British intelligence agents who serve as a dumping ground department of MI5 due to their career-ending mistakes. Released in 2022, and it already has a second season. Number 5. Tokyo Vice. With 8 on IMDb and 85% on Rotten Tomatoes, the storytelling in Tokyo Vice is very realistic. A Western journalist working for a publication in Tokyo takes on one of the city's most powerful crime bosses. Journalism is its least interesting element. But the intrigue of Japan's underworld make for a seductive watch. It's one of the best shows I have watched this year. Number 4, This Is Going To Hurt. With 8.4 on IMDb and 95% on Rotten Tomatoes, This Is Going To Hurt is likely more accurate and more wrenching than most medical shows. Set on labor ward with all its hilarity and heart-lifting highs but also its gut-wrenching lows. The show delivers a brutally honest depiction of life as a junior doctor on the wards and the toll the job can take back home. It shows with great realism how the life in a hospital is, in particular for junior doctors. Number 3. The Bear. With 8.4 on IMDb and 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, with only 8 episodes most a half hour The Bear is a funny, tense and riveting binge. A young chef from the fine dining world comes home to Chicago to run his family restaurant after a heartbreaking death and his family. The Bear will sink its claws into you pull you in for an anxiety-inducing hug and you will love every tension-filled moment of it. Number 2. Severance. With 8.7 on IMDb and 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, audacious, mysterious, and bringing fresh insight into the perils of corporate drudgery, Severance is the complete package. Mark leads a team of office workers whose memories have been surgically divided between their work and personal lives. When a mysterious colleague appears outside of work, it begins a journey to discover the truth about their jobs. Excellent writing, fantastic acting, it is a must-see masterpiece. Number 1. SAS Rogue Heroes With 8.2 on IMDb and 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, with a terrific cast Rogue Heroes is a fun throwback to a down-and-dirty adventure story. SAS Rogue Heroes charts the creation of the famed Special Forces unit, based on the book by Ben McIntyre. It's a sort of Peaky Blinders in the desert, and just like Peaky Blinders, it's criminally underrated. This is an outrageously over-the-top take on a mostly true story. It's full of mad characters that you can't help but love and feel for, and the whole show makes you wish it was longer. And here are some shows which I didn't add in the list but they deserve some quick mentions. 
Echo 3, Shining Girls, The Lazarus Project, We Own This City, and The Resort. Don't forget to tell me in comments which one's your favorite. Do subscribe and bye.